One way or another, we'll make it all work. Could you just tell me a few words about yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? Wow. So I... <laughs> and, and in just one minute. Okay, in one minute. I'm Ted Kinsman. I'm an associate professor of photographic sciences at RIT, which stands for Rochester Institute of Technology. Basically, uh, we teach students how to control cameras with microsecond precision. What I work on is a lot of things to keep students interested in science as well as interested in, in high-speed photography. So we, uh, we do any kind of high-speed shot that we dream up that's safe for this environment. Nobody gets hurt, nobody gets cut, <laughs> and everybody keeps their eyeballs at the end of the day. What's that boss you just showed me? So this is a trap door. And actually this is made by uh, a European guy that, that uh, I think he's in Russia. And, and he makes this with a little solenoid. It's all 3D printed. And, uh, and in this case, it's supposed to run on, on 12 volts, but I don't have a quick little 12 volt supply. So I put two <laughs> nine volt transistor batteries together to get enough current. That's the job. And it's, it's controlled by an Arduino, which controls the timing. And it's, so it's a fun little, fun little programming project. It takes, if you know how to program it, this only takes like eight minutes to program. Very, very quick and easy. So this takes, Scrabble letters? Scrabble letters. And it drops them. And drops them. Because right now on Instagram, uh, one of the, the fashionable things this week on Instagram is, is floating Scrabble letters that follow the hashtag no Photoshop. Okay. So how do you do this with no Photoshop? Um, well, there's a lot of ways. I've, I've come up with five ways. I've had the students do four ways of, of doing this with no Photoshop. And uh, here's one way. I see if I still have my. Uh oh. Uh oh, you lost a letter. We just lost a letter. But maybe we can just push it on there or something. We could hot glue it back on there, or we can just. Okay. Maybe it'll hold it still. I now I got fingerprints on it. So if I have you hold. Uh, yeah, you hold this. I hold this. You hold that up. No, tilt it up towards the black. Towards the black, yeah. There it goes. And you'll be like, oh wow, but floating. Like so they start with the fake stuff, and they see how well that works. Um, surprisingly, with clean sheets of glass and pretty big glass, that works really pretty well. It's like a guy doing a magic trick with uh, like a big yeah. sheet of perspex. Oh, and then the students would do their names. On little with <laughs> <laughs> This is Lily's name. And if you, if you zoom in on the letters with your digital zoom on your, your cell phone. The strings go away. Yeah, it's just invisible yeah. uh, thread that they sell in the sewing store for just a few dollars. Yeah, yeah so we, yeah. We, we drop them down to Instagram quality and those strings just completely disappear. <laughs> so no Photoshop, right? No Photoshop. <laughs> and it's a tangled mess, but if we untangled them, you'd be like, wow, floating letters. How could they possibly do that? And if you correct the background so you don't get glare in the background, they really disappear too. It, it gets the students thinking that, you know, everything you see on Instagram might not be true. Yeah. And just because someone says no Photoshop doesn't mean it's actually no Photoshop. So this is the, this is the re really doing it in real world is uh, to have a flash. And in this case, I'm using the, the Einstein um, uh, flash, it's, it's 640 watt seconds, but it's, uh, it's brought down to its lowest setting, which gives a speed uh, a little bit faster than 20 thousandths of a second. And it's hooked up to an Arduino, which, is, uh, which controls all the timing. And I've set the timing so these letters fall down to about here before the, the flash fires off. So the students put their faces down there. So yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. You want to take a shot? I do this every day. You is it all set up? Yeah, it's all set up. Sure, to go. let's do one. Let's do one. But yeah. I want to. I want to Chris in there. No TFTTF. Oh, you know, sure. Okay. We've got lots of letters. We have blue and black T letters too. So this could be your logo for your this your whole be... the whole shebang. I thought it would be easier to find F's. One more F. Hey, Here's is... an E. You could just cut it off in Photoshop. Uh, no Photoshop. No Photoshop. There's no hashtags in Scrabble, by the way. Which way will they fall? See, so you, yeah, you got to put them. See, there's a little door there. Yep. So you put them on your side of that little crack. And then they will. Will they tip this way? No, they'll fall straight down. They'll fall straight down. Yeah. So I'll I'll just stand this, them up. Is yeah. That what you're saying? Yeah. 
the door opens with the center of gravity, would which this, happens to be halfway through. Would this work, the way I set it up? Uh, they'll, they'll fall just like that. So Start. you'll open the shutter. Yep. That thing will just rip the flash. Yep. So if you put your hand right where those things are going to go. They, they, I catch them? You could if you want. It doesn't matter. Let's try. Okay. Or you put your, hand, you put your hands well. a little bit low. I want to focus on, on the hands because that's where uh, I really should focus on the eyes. So if you have like your hand like here, so like right here, yeah. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This happens anytime you bump the table. So, okay, yep, let's hit the lights. Somewhere over here, there's my button. Okay, so you ready? Mm -hmm. Lights? Hold on, there we go, now lights. So oh, you gotta wait sorry. for the shutter, it's on three seconds. So it's also... Um, this is probably the worst. Yeah, so here's... Do I it was manually close that? Your hands are a little bit, a little bit high. Okay. And the hands are also blocking the, the light. Okay. We have all these chunks of foam core, which are really good for reflecting. This is fun. There's an artist at work here. Mm. So it, I've got this, it's, it's gonna go for 3.2 seconds. So don't, don't turn on the lights when you see it drop, okay? Okay. Okay, so you ready? There's I'm lights. Ready. Actually, that looks pretty good. And lights. And we can lights now. There we go. Hey. T's and F's all over the place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we should do one or two more, just because you got those, those top. It's tips from the top. There's floor. too many letters. That's the problem. So you could put those, the F and T on the bottom, and put those T, T, T on the top. So here, you can do these. Oh, you're being artistic is what you're doing. Oh, I'm just trying to get this to work. Yep, and now don't breathe. There we go. Don't touch the table. Okay, Last so this try. is it. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so lower that hand down a little bit. You're right there. Perfect. Okay, lights. And lights. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Raw file. You'll be able to correct it without any trouble. <laughs> it's TF, TF, T. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, wait, you did it wrong? TF. This was fun. Okay, what else do we have that's cool? <laughs> Everything. We have, it's this, you know. Oh, you know what? It's a big photographic playground here is what it you, is. You did something um, that you told me got some visibility online, the, the coffee printer. The coffee printer. What is the coffee printer? The coffee printer is this bizarre device which uh, prints coffee drip by drip. And I've got some examples over here uh, which are on the wall. So it's... it's